Hi everybody, Scott Holowinski here from StorageCraft and today I'm really excited to be able to present a brand new program uh, to our partners that is really focused on the protection of endpoints, so primarily uh, laptops and desktops. Now the threat to laptops and desktops today uh, is, is real. Um, we have a large mobile workforce today, folks who are working from home uh, on airplanes in hotel rooms. We also have threats that are coming from uh, viruses and things like ransomware, which is extremely prevalent today, impacting hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of computers on an annual basis. Now, the fact that these endpoint computers are at risk or the data living on those computers is at risk is not something that's lost on most end users. However, as an IT service provider, uh, sometimes, uh, even though they understand there's risk, going in and selling a solution uh, to protect these endpoints can be difficult. Um, nobody wants to spend money in IT. We all know that. So what we want to do is help our partners. So StorageCraft understands that endpoint protection is important, but we also understand that our partners need some help in terms of sales tools to sell products to solve these issues. So what we came up with is what we're calling our endpoint data protection program. And the Endpoint Data Protection Program really is built around a brand new product that was acquired by StorageCraft in the middle of September um, that we're calling our File Backup and Recovery uh, Software Solution. And in particular, it leverages one feature of that solution, which we call our Backup Analyzer. So what I'm going to do today is go through a really high-level overview of what the Endpoint Data Protection Program is. I'm going to actually do a live demo where I'm going to go through how you as a service provider can leverage um, this program as a sales tool to protect these endpoints but also obviously make some money when doing so and then obviously how to get started. So first a quick program overview. So as I mentioned the whole idea of our endpoint data protection program is to take our file backup and recovery uh, software solution and get it deployed on as many computers as possible. Now typically you would have to charge for this solution but we have created a special configuration of the file backup and recovery uh, suite um, that only analyzes the data that's on computers. So we're going to take this solution, we're going to deploy it to every endpoint that you have and it's going to run our backup analyzer and that backup analyzer is going to go through and identify all of the information on that particular endpoint that needs to be backed up and protected and the whole idea is is you can do this mass distribution and I'll show you how of the solution that backup analyzer runs and then at the end of that you're going to be able to take to your end user what we call an end user report and that end user report is a visual sales tool. It is a summary of all of the data on all of the computers um, in that office or that company um, that you've run this tool on and it highlights all the data that should be protected. So instead of just going and saying, Jim, you know, you really need to deploy this solution, um, you can actually de de give Jim a report that says, here's all the information that's at risk right now and I can protect it for X number of dollars a month. And then really, really important, when you, when you get that sale made and Jim says, yeah, let's go ahead and do this, the activation of the solution is really, really simple. You've already deployed the software. It's the exact same client. All you have to do is change out the backup configuration and it'll start backing the data up. So it's a really, really concise, simple program that hopefully will help you sell more endpoint data protection. So what I want to do now is actually hop over to a demo where I walk through the, the, the really critical components of, of how this program works. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log into my um, StorageCraft Partner Portal. Now, if you haven't checked out the file backup and recovery uh, product from StorageCraft, please do. It's a really great product. I think you'll be impressed. Um, to access the file backup and recovery uh, product, just go to your managed service tab. Let me expand this for you here. Click on this, and then you're going to now see this File Backup and Recovery tab. Just go ahead and click on that. Hit OK. 
You'll have to log in. It'll be the same credentials as your partner portal. And this is the home screen uh, of the product. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do to use and take advantage of this free um, endpoint data protection program and this analyze only uh, capability is you're going to need to go to your backup configurations. So the backup configuration determines when you do an install, how does the product behave? Now, by default, um, when you log in for the first time, you're going to have a standard configuration, and this determines what backs up and what doesn't back up. It's going to turn, determine when the backup scans run. Um, it's going to con configure all aspects of the backup solution. Now, what you're going to also see here is there's this analyze only configuration that you can select. Now, the analyze only configuration is very similar to the standard configuration you get out of the box, but it's not going to actually run any backup scans, so it won't actually back up any data, which is why we can offer this for free and you can deploy it to as many computers as you would like without any risk of, of being charged for it. Now, to use this endpoint data protection program and the analyze only configuration, you're most likely going to want to go ahead and set it as your default. When I do that, any new installs that I do of the file backup and recovery uh, software package will get installed with the analyze only configuration. And like I mentioned, to switch the configuration out after you've made the sale and you want data to actually start backing up, it only takes a couple clicks of the, of the mouse uh, in your dashboard. So it'll be very easy and I'll show you how to do that. So again, first step to use this program and take advantage of it as a sales tool is to set your backup configuration uh, default as your analyze only configuration. All right, so that's step one. Step two is you actually have to go out and get some installs. And again, our whole um, idea here is to go and install this on as many endpoints as you can to take the maximum advantage of the program. So the first thing you're going to do now, after you've changed your configuration is to go and add accounts. So we would recommend that for every company that you're supporting, um, maybe you have 50 or 100 computers under your wing, to go ahead and create an account for them. So you can go ahead and say, create an account and hit next. So now Jim's Trucking 2 is, is an account in my dashboard. And now you can actually go ahead and create licenses. And you do that by clicking here. You can click Add One. And now you can see your default configuration for Jim's Trucking 2 is this Analyze Only configuration. Now when I add one, I have a few options for installing uh, the product. The first one is, is you can just go ahead and download and install it and hook it up to the proper account in your dashboard. If you're doing this in a large distribution, you don't want to be going to every single computer and doing the install. So you're going to want to use this, config, this uh, scripted install, which will uh, be sent out via your RMM tool and will do a silent install overnight. So when you come in in the morning, if Jim's Trucking has 30 computers, it'll install it on all 30 computers and it'll hook it up to your dashboard. So when you come in in the morning, if I go to my main dashboard screen, Jim's trucking will move from here down to here and there will be 30 computers next to it. So it will happen all automatically. So it's very, very slick. The distribution is easy. And again, it will all get installed with that Analyze Only uh, configuration by default. All right, so the next step is, is we've, we've set our Analyze Only configuration to default. And we've deployed this to every single endpoint that I'm, I'm responsible for protecting. The next thing is, how do I use this as an actual sales tool? Again, the whole, pro the whole idea behind this program is uh, selling backup can be difficult. Business owners are traditionally very tight with their money. Um, we want to create and, and present a very compelling case for them to go out and actually purchase this solution from you. And the way we're going to do that is with our end user report. So again, our backup analyzer feature is really powerful. It's going to go out to every computer that this product is installed on and it's going to determine what on that computer should be backed up. Now I only have one computer under my Holowinski account here um, but it's my laptop and if I click on my computer you're going to see that when I installed this analyze only uh, configuration it found 
32.916 gigabytes of data that it should protect. Uh, it's 5,264 files. Now again, it's not actually backing any of this data up, um, but it's all set and ready to go. However, what this allows us to do now is if I go back to the account overview, is it allows us to create what we call an end user report. Now this isn't all that compelling because it's only one computer, but imagine Jim's trucking has 30 different computers. What Jim's going to see when he sees this report that you're going to send him via email is he's going to see all 30 computers that the, the product is installed on. And then he's going to see a summary for each computer of the data that was found to be protected. So he's going to see that on my computer it found 32 gigabytes. He's going to see that on his salesperson's computer it found 18.3 gigabytes or whatever it might be. For all 30 computers, he's going to see how much data is at risk. And again, this is a visual sales tool. So the whole idea is you can go and send this end user report to yourself. Um, it'll come in a PDF attachment. We're going to provide you with an email template that you can then send out to Jim, attach the report and say, hey Jim, um, here's all the data um, on all of your laptops and desktops in your office, or maybe not even in the office. They might be remote or they're a traveling sales team. Um, that's at risk. I want to protect it and I can do that for X number of dollars uh, each month. So again, it's a visual sales tool um, that you can use to make that business case to Jim and complete the sale. Now if I go back to my end user report, I want to show one way to make this end user report a little more compelling, a little more rich, uh, to try and make it even easier to make that sale. Now, by default, this is the type of information the end user report will show. It's going to show the amount and number of files um, that it has found to protect. However, if you go and set up what we call monitored items, this report becomes a little more customized and again, a little more compelling. So what a monitored item is, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my account overview here and click on my computer. And you'll see that monitored items right now I don't have any set. So I like to say that a monitored item is like keeping a pulse on a file or a folder. And the scenario that it helps protect against is this. Uh, let's say that I'm a business owner and I do all of my accounting on QuickBooks. And when I go on vacation, I decide, you know what, I'm going to take my QuickBooks file with me. I'm going to put it on my thumb drive and, and take it along. And maybe from that point forward, every time for the next year, that I work on my QuickBooks, I'm working off of my thumb drive instead of my laptop computer. Now most backup solutions are going to say, hey, everything is fine. The most recent revision of, the back of that QuickBooks file that's on Jim's laptop is backed up, but it's not changing. So what we need to be able to do is set some monitor that says, hey, I expect that really important piece of data. I know Jim really wants to make sure that QuickBooks is protected. And I need to make sure that I'm getting some changes every day, or maybe once a week or once a month. Again, it allows you to keep a pulse on a file or a folder. So what we would suggest um, is to set up uh, some monitored items uh, for some of the key computers in that office. And by doing so, those monitored items will show up on the end user report. So instead of just kind of a generic end user report that says, hey, Jim's computer has 18 gigabytes of data to protect. It'll say it has 18 gigabytes of data protect. And oh, I'm going to monitor the QuickBooks file and I'm going to monitor his, his documents folder. Um, it just makes it a little more customized and a little more compelling. Now to set up a monitored item, all you have to do is for any computer that the solution is, is installed on, um, you can click on this run the backup analyzer. And this backup analyzer is going to churn through what we call an audit file. And that audit file is a view of every single file on this computer. So it's really a window into, in this, in this situation, my laptop. And again, it's going to allow me to see every single file, whether it's marked for backup, not marked for backup, um, all this information you can see through the backup analyzer. Um, so for example, files marked for backup, there's 5,264 like we would expect, and you can browse through them. You can click through and check them all out. Now this is where you can set 
um, a monitored item. So for any file you want to monitor, for example, this is my Outlook PST. If I scroll down to it and you see this little eyeball, I can set up a monitor and say my Outlook PST, I expect to get a new revision backed up every X number of days. It defaults to seven. And I click save. So it's that easy. Right from here, without having to interrupt the end user, you can set up some of these monitored items. Now, if for some reason I don't get a new version of my Outlook PST after seven days or within that seven day window, I'll get an email alert saying, hey, there's something wrong. Take a look at it. Now, if I go back, um, you're now going to see that I have one monitored item. And again, the whole idea and the reason I started this conversation about monitored items was that the end user report gets a little more rich when you set monitored items. So I'm going to click here again. And as you can see, now it has actually listed that Outlook PST. So instead of Jim just getting a generic report, he's going to see some files and folders that are, are he recognizes and he knows are important on that report. It just makes it that much stronger of a, a sales tool. So just imagine if there were 30 computers on here, and for maybe four or five of those, maybe the, account, the accounting departments, maybe marketing department, maybe you pick five or six computers that you know store some really important data and just set up a few of those monitored items uh, to make this report look a little more rich when you send it off to, to Jim. So that, in a nutshell, is the Endpoint Data Protection Program. The key takeaway is we want you to take advantage of this Analyze Only configuration, which is totally free. You can deploy it to as many computers as you would like. We would encourage you to do it to all of them. And then to take these end user reports, send them to yourself, use them to then send to your end users to use as a sales tool. So the last thing I want to show is when you get Jim to bite and he says, yeah, let's go ahead. I want to protect all these endpoints. Actually switching from the uh, analyze only uh, version to the, okay, let's back all this data up version is really, really easy. So all you have to do is go to the computers that you want to back up. I'm going to click on my laptop. And you're simply going to change out the standard configuration. So you can see that for this computer, which is my laptop right now, it is a analyze only configuration. But all I'm going to do is click update. I'm going to say use my standard configuration. Click select standard configuration. And just like that, it's updated. Um, so this computer will start backing up um, the next time that scan is scheduled to run. And you're good to go. I'm going to jump back here to the presentation and just wrap up how to get started. So if you are already a StorageCraft partner and you have access to the new partner portal, which I just showed you, the Analyze Only client is already in there and is set and ready to roll. Um, just go ahead and get started. If for some reason you haven't been able to log into the new StorageCraft Partner portal, haven't been able to access the file backup and recovery solution, um, go ahead and fill out the information um, that's next uh, to this video on the landing page and a sales representative will contact you with your credentials so that you can get started. With that, thank you very much. Again, the Endpoint Data Protection Program, we think it's really important. We're excited to get it launched uh, with all of our partners and really encourage our partners to get out there and take advantage of this great sales tool that the Analyze Only configuration provides. Thank you.